Hi guys. Quite a while ago, Ryan McCartney asked if I could make a rubber band powered train. Well, I didn't think it was going to be much difference to any of my other rubber band powered cars. So it's been right at the bottom of the pile of things to do. But I thought I'd have a go today, mainly because it's been rainy and miserable outside, so I wanted something I could do indoors. I've got two kites and a glider to go and fly when the weather's right, but I just can't do it. So, here we have a rubber band powered train. It's no different, as I say, to my normal rubber band powered cars, except that I've linked all the wheels together so they look like a train. So, I guess we'd better see if it goes. That looks like it goes. Summary time. What have we got? I think the chassis actually comes from my rubber band powered car number one, so it's pretty old. I've added four extra wheels, so it's now an eight wheeled train. I've drilled a hole in each wheel, put a nut and bolt through so that we've got this linkage going along to link all, all the wheels, four wheels on each side. Uh, it's only plastic, a bit of Corex I think it's called, it's that um, uh, hollow plastic. Uh, other than that, it's just the usual things, barbecue skewers for the axles, uh, rubber band wrapped around the back axle to drive it. Uh, this bit at the front's unnecessary, that's left over from rubber band powered car number one. Uh, but nothing special at all. Uh, the bodywork's just some folded bits of holo holographic cardboard, just to make it look pretty. And that's it. Job done.